All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the adventures of TNT. TNT. Now, today, we are back doing some more comedy in which... Finally. We, yes, we've got our Patreon request. This is for a comedian. Her name is Jean Robertson. Uh, I've never heard of her, but it's called... Uh, the piece is called Don't Mess With the Teenage Hussies. Oh, Lord. Yes, this was requested by our patron, Mark, so shout out to you, man. We'll go ahead and check <laughs> her out and uh, let you know what we think. Okay. Let's get it. To point out that left brain people are not necessarily uncreative. They can be very creative. Last spring, I had a theater show in Rome, Georgia. Hey. And Beaver and his wife, Dana, and their two, my two grandsons, Gray and, Gray and Ryder, live nearby. So I said to Dana, come over and help me with the show. And the night before the show, we were having dinner with everybody involved, and they said, well, they, Jeannie, since Dana's here, why don't you tell us a beaver story? There's some stories mothers beaver just can't story. ever tell, but I have a few I can tell. And I said, you know, I've got one you might not have, might not have heard. When Beaver was 16, he was grounded one weekend. Mm. Something we'd had happen at the PTA meeting. I Actually, thought she was talking about an actual beaver. One weekend. <laughs> this boy stayed grounded. Somebody met him one time and said, what a personality, what a well-grounded young man. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> you could say that he's very well-grounded. We were having people come over to play cards and play bridge and so forth and have dinner. And so Beaver said, I can't believe that. You're having people over here and having fun when I can't go out? You've grounded me? I said, we didn't do anything wrong. Mm. He said, but if I'm in the house on a Saturday night, They'll know I'm grounded. I said, honey, everybody in town knows you're grounded. <laughs> but he got his face straight, and when the company came in, he came downstairs. Hey, y'all, hey, Mr. Personality, uh, blah, blah. In a little while, he said, I think if I can have everybody's attention, it's uh -oh. obvious that I'm here tonight because I have been grounded. I've had something to eat, and I just want to wish everybody a nice night. I think I'll just go upstairs and go to bed, and up he went. We said, wow, he must be tired. He snuck a little while home. later, yeah. <laughs> that friend had to go upstairs and get something, and he peeked in on him and came back and said, sound asleep, sound asleep. He must have been worn out. He needs his time at home, and he'll probably thank us on Monday for having <laughs> all this wonderful time at home. <laughs> and the company came, and we ate, and then they left and everything. We were getting ready to go to bed. And left brain said, I think I'll just check on Beaver one more time. And he went in and came back and said, he's worn out. He hadn't moved a muscle in three hours. <laughs> Some of y'all have either had teenage boys or been a teenage boy. I looked right at left brain. He looked at me. We went in that bedroom and pulled that cover back, and there were pillows from Beaver's <laughs> bed, pillows from the guest bedroom, and Beaver is 6'8". There was a trash oh, wow. room yeah. upside down. In <laughs> it looked like a six, eight person sitting right there. And immediately left brain said, the cars. And he went out and came back and said, I got the keys. He's on foot. Oh, oh wow. I said, he's not on foot. There's some teenage hussy waiting around the corner. Oh. <laughs> they call here all the time. <laughs> left brain said, I don't know if there was a teenage hussy, but somebody was waiting on him. His group of buddies were waiting on him. I will guarantee you sitting right there, some of them, they were waiting on him. This thing was planned and thought out. And I said, what are we going to do? You going to go looking for him? He said, no, I'm not riding around Alamance County looking for this. Heavens no. We know his friends. We know when his friends have to be in. Mm. And about 15 minutes before his friends have to be in, they'll bring Beaver back here. Oh. This is where I illustrate how creative a left brain person can be. He said, I think we have two choices. Number one, we can lock up this house tighter than a drum. Mm. Oh. That's what my parents used to do. His second story bedroom window, which is obvious he went out. And I think he's going to find it's a lot tougher getting back up and in than it got him holding onto that tree and getting down. Mm. And we can turn all the lights on so when whoever has him, brings him back and puts him out, and he sees all these lights, he will think they're up. And he'll have to sit in the yard a long time <laughs> until he figures it out. We, we are in on it. Or, he said, there's a second option. He said, we can lock up this house tighter than a drum, leaving open only that second story window right there, and mm. we can turn off all the lights and go to bed. But we won't go to bed in our beds, Jeannie. Oh. oh. We'll go to bed in Beaver. 
Beaver's bed. Oh. So we put left that sounds like right some stuff my parents would do. I curled up and I put the trash can and I forgot we really didn't need all of that down there because he got his foot caught in it and almost fell out of the bed and fell over on that. And then we covered him up and I got over here and we were laying and he said, let's just go to sleep. Well, you don't really go to sleep. You're sort of asleep, but if you hear a noise, you yeah, punch you the other one like, yeah. don't laugh, don't laugh. <laughs> we were there a long time and about quarter till 12, we heard a car door shut very quietly. You could tell that it was not slammed. It was being done. <laughs> it click out here. There were no lights on in the, in the street. Left brain said, he's back. Beaver's back. <laughs> he says, don't make a sound. Just stay here. I said, I'm not going to make a sound. In a few minutes, we heard somebody rattle the back door mm. and then rattle the porch door. Oh. Come around to the garage. We were just, the bed was practically shaking. We was going around. <laughs> and then we didn't hear anything. We heard him try one window like, <laughs> we locked all those windows up. Oh my we gosh. thought, he's gone. I said, he's gone. We let him get away. And Left Brain said, he's not gone. He's thinking. Mm. Mm. And in a few minutes, we heard feet coming across the roof of the house, very quiet. Oh, oh no. you could hear it. These were not squirrels running across the top. <laughs> and we punched each other again, and he got over and tried to get down, and it was tougher, and get that tree and get through. I thought he's going to pull the window sill off. What are we doing here? But we held on, and finally he made it in, and we could tell he took off his shoes, took off some of his clothes, and came over. And in the pitch dark, Pull that bread spread back and sat right down on left brain. Oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> Turn on the lights. What if? Oh, y'all are so funny. Y'all are so funny. <laughs> All the parents in North Carolina, and I got to get two who think they're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next morning, when he walked out of the living room, <laughs> After a big con he turned back and he said to us, that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I finished this story in Rome, Georgia last <laughs> spring, it suddenly dawned on me. I'm telling this story to his wife. Oh. And his kids. Dana, I'm telling, and I thought, oh my gosh, I might have messed up here. So I said, Dana, I might not should have told that. That's probably not one you know. And she said, oh no, Jeannie, I know all about it. I was the teenage hussy who uh. picked him up. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, was good. Yeah, that was good. She was a good storyteller. So this was funny. I love how she called her husband left brain. Yeah. You know, because he's probably like an analytical person. Right. And then uh, her son, Beaver, being as clever as he is right, yeah. still sneaking out but having like a, a huge personality and that's probably why he was grounded all the time right, because he was in trouble yeah right yeah. and i i'm pretty sure he got grounded again after this but he needed a spanking right yeah he needed to ask for, for, for that now this did remind me of a story that happened to my sister because she was tell sneak, me she would sneak out the house all the time oh to go my party. gosh and basically the same thing happened she went to go sneak out to hang out with some boys and mm, mm, when she mm, would girl. sneak back in <laughs> she we had these side french doors and mm -hmm. she would sneak in through the french doors or she would leave them unlocked she and would so, leave or, them no, 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 unlocked? No, 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 that's not what happened. No, oh, she was sneaking through the basement. Cause the, because y'all weren't in Rome, Georgia. No, y'all was in another part of Georgia. She was sneaking through the basement. <laughs> And I, um, I you lived down in the basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, because my room was there. Yeah. And so I was down in the basement. And so she would always tell me, you know, let me in or whatever. Yeah. And so this particular night, my parents found out she snuck out the house. And what <laughs> they did was they turned out all the lights and they left the side French doors unlocked. And they locked the basement and all the other doors. Oh, and so when no. she went down in the basement and twisted the door, it was exactly the same thing. Oh, no. She was checking all the doors around the house. And then when she finally came upstairs to the French door, because I, I had ran upstairs and I was like, like thinking, <laughs> she had opened up the French door and she had came in. And my parents, they had the TV, the lights off and everything. And they were just sitting on the couch waiting for her. Oh, my God. And she, when she came in through the door, she just screamed. It was like, ah, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> And so it was like one of those little brother moments because um, they were cussing her out and yelling at her. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, 
in the corner laughing because she was getting a whooping. So, uh, oh, yeah. she got a whooping. Yeah, she got a whooping. Dang, yeah, exactly. girl. My parents didn't play. Anyway, guys, if you have any stories of sneaking out the house, let us know down below in the comment section. Uh, we we'll definitely have to check out some more Gene Robertson. This was I pretty hilarious. I think it's Jeannie, actually. A Jeannie? Okay, yeah. Jeannie Robinson. Yeah, this was great. Uh, anyway, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And, of course, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>